uh, I mean, from uh, happy, very happy with the result. Uh, I thought the match had a, had a lot of, you know, momentum swings in it. Um, and I thought the guys handled it well. You know, we, we, we came into the match, you know, knowing that we're, we're a team that always wants to compete and always wants to compete for three points, regardless of where we are in the table and where we are in the season. And I thought you saw a group that was still, you know, committed to each other, uh, committed to uh, what, we're, what we're building here um, at Nashville. And I, I couldn't be more proud of the performance that, that the guys uh, in the locker room put in individually, um, collectively, and for the club. Yeah, BJ, you kind of just touched on um, the performance, but what was kind of the the mentality heading into the game? Obviously, knowing that even a win wouldn't get you into the playoffs, how did you feel like the guys kind of handled handled that maybe kind of different aspect of things? Yeah, I, I think you know we spoke early in the week about you know there's two ways you can look at this. You can look at it there's nothing to play for, um, or there's a lot to play for. And we and we talked about that as a group. And the first thing that came out of what are we playing for is three points. We are, you know, we, we want to build and continue to build on the winning culture that's here. Um, and, you know, that's, that was first and foremost, but then that was the intention we went for. Additionally, you know, this group, I've said it from the beginning, is a really tight-knit group. Um, and, you know, to a man, they, they uh, you know, wanted to play for each other uh, as well. And so that's, a lot, that's also a big, you know, that's a big thing. Um, and that's something to play for when you're playing for each other and guys you spend a lot of time with. And so I, and I thought that showed on the field tonight. And then lastly, we told them we want to have fun. We want to play open. We want to play free. We want to play with a smile on our face. Uh, we have the opportunity. We did. We played with a smile on our face. We were able to score three goals. And now we get to leave Chicago, head back to Nashville, you know, with a smile. And, and, and a, a, you know, it, it's, not the, it's not the ending of the season that we want, but, you know, it's, it's a nice way to look into 2025. Yeah, and then I know uh, you were probably asked a similar question kind of in the pre-match um, media, but kind of looking back at your two and a half, three months um, in charge of Nashville, what do you make of, of the job that you've done and the team has done? And kind of what are what are things that you're most excited about when you think of this team in, in 2025? I, I think we have a group here, um, you know, from the top to the bottom in the club that's committed to the vision. Uh, that are open-minded, that, that want to learn. You have a group of players that want to learn. They're willing to try new things, to want to, you know, make mistakes and be vulnerable. And I think we know when, when you have that, uh, that's a tremendous opportunity for growth. And so we're we're really excited about you know the the small little bit of progress we were able to make in this short time, uh, and and excited about where where we can go, you know, where we can go in twenty twenty five. Hey. Uh... BJ, uh, and, uh, I want to ask you specifically about Alex Moyle, who's been a contributor for Nashville SC since he was signed by the club in 2020. But it seems like he's hit a new high in terms of uh, both performance and and in terms of uh, goals and assists um, since you, you joined the team. So can you just tell me a little bit about him and, and if there's anything that you did differently with him to, to kind of help him reach this level? <laughs> I'd love to take credit for it, but the, uh, everything that you see is earned and, and earned and built by Alex. Uh, you know, I think it starts with his with his work ethic. Um, he, he's a player that's honest on both sides of the ball. He's a, he's a, has a tremendous ability to take information in uh, and apply it immediately. It's one of his greatest strengths. Uh, and I think you know you see a player who thrives on on I would say sort of his defensive work. And now has really spent time developing his offensive side and, and understanding the areas in the box and areas around the box where he could be effective. And he's finding himself in those positions. And now he's starting to execute. So, you know, really, really proud of, of his development that he's been, he's been driving his own development and uh, really proud to see it and then have it on display. And then on this game specifically, um, I mean, was there anything that you saw tonight that, helped you come to any conclusions uh, about uh, players or performance or anything, or was this just a continuation of what you've seen already this season? Yeah, I think this is for, for, uh, for me, this is a continuation of, of what we're trying to build here. Um, again, the way we prepared for the week, the way we went out, I think you saw, you know, even making some changes to the lineups and, and guys stepping up. <clears throat> a lot of them still know what their role was. Um, and, and really committed to, to the way that we were, you know, we're looking to, we're looking to play. So, uh, you know, really, really proud of the group, really proud of, you know, individual players that stepped up and, and happy uh, for the performance and, 
and the result. Yeah. And uh, BJ, I guess, you know, I wanted to ask about maybe your uh, off season priorities now with the season officially over, I guess, what are your, what do, what do you think your first tasks uh, need to be? I guess, how much time do you take for yourself to maybe relax or decompress before it's time to, you know, get to work and focus on, 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 on the off season and planning ahead for next season? Uh, there will be no rest. Um, you know, we'll, we'll immediately turn our focus into uh, the players will have a, a week off. We'll obviously uh, go through, you know, not, not now, not probably not tomorrow, but early next week, go through some of the, you know, evaluation period. And then we're going to get right back and start training. So, uh, you know, that that's sort of our, our mentality. We're not, we're, we're not, again, we're not happy with the way the whole season went. Um, and, and we know this is an opportunity for us uh, to improve. And while the teams that are playing in the playoffs are playing, we're going to, we're already going to start doing our work uh, in preparation for 2025. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the whole season, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. PJ. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you. all the time. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was one of them. I think we were a bit under pressure for the five minutes before. Um, yeah, and I just thought I'd just have a go. And, um, yeah, it was just kind of the space opened up and um, I went for it. So, yeah, it was, it was a nice goal. It was a good way to end the season as well. Yeah, um, Sam, I'm just kind of curious going into this game, maybe what the what the thought process or mentality was with the group, obviously knowing that you a win wouldn't get you into the playoffs, but I mean, not not wanting to go in it thinking that there's nothing to play for. How did you kind of approach that? Um, I think the from the start of the week, it was always, we've always got something to play for, the club, for ourselves, lads might not be here next year, lads are playing for each other, like everything. So you, a lot of time you always got something to play for. And I think you could tell with them the way they uh, they defended. They they looked like they had something to play for. I know they've got a new manager there. They want to try and impress him. So yeah, it was it was a tough game, and um, I think it was two teams trying to trying to win. And I thought we were we were really good. I thought we throughout the game. Obviously, we had spells where we didn't have the ball, but at the same time, we we were looking uh, like ourselves, which we have done in games the past couple of months. But hopefully, next season we can we can see more of tonight and um, you yeah, know games that we've had. And then what did you make of the, I mean, it, it felt like, especially in the second half, just the attacking performance kind of came together really well. Um, did you feel like that was maybe the culmination of work that you guys did and also something to build on um, yeah. going into next year? Um, yeah, definitely. I think, see, we've scored a lot of goals. I say a lot. We've scored goals, the more goals than we have done at the end of the season than we did at the start of the season. So you can see us work and you can see us getting better, like I, I said after I think it was the Cincinnati game or the Chicago game we played them last time. You can see that we're getting better. You can see we're creating chances. Um, and defensively, the lads done really well tonight. I thought um, Josh really come in. Taylor done really well. We'll see Julian Young at right back. Um, we, yeah, they, they played really well. And um, as the, have the other lads when they've when they who were on the bench, they've done well when they've when they've played. But I thought, yeah, the back four, I thought they've done really well. And um, yeah, it just gives us a chance. And when you when you're not conceding, I feel like we can always go and get a goal. So. Yeah, Sam, um, you finished this season as the highest goal scorer for Nashville SC. Was this always the expectation from your end coming into Nashville and MLS? Um, it's a hard one because I always want to be, I always want to score the most goals. That's, not, that's just not in the team. I, I'd want to do that in the league. It's not just I'd see it as Nashville. I want to be the top goal scorer. And obviously, it's been so hard this season at times where we've been, um, we've not been doing so well. We, we haven't been playing the way we want and um, yeah it's been difficult but I felt like I've grinded it out I felt like as a team we we haven't dropped our heads and um, yeah and I've, I've I felt like I've done okay in the circumstances um, in the circumstances that I've had so yeah I felt, I think I've done okay but obviously coming into the team when you've got Hanny and he's uh, he's a goal scorer as well so it's it's definitely always hard I think um, being the top goal scorer when you've got him as well so it's, it's difficult but at the same time I think um, he still contributed a lot. So yeah, I think I can't remember how many goals he's finished. But I know he's assisted a lot as well. Um, so yeah, I think next season we're looking we're looking positive. I think Alex will obviously chip in with a few goals now. Shaft's got one tonight. So yeah, I think I think we are looking positive. You can see in the past couple of months the attacking we are we are looking better. So that's positive. You you mentioned next season, and and I mean that's where the focus is considering uh, how this season has gone. Um, what are some of the positive things or some, some just things you're looking forward to in terms of the coaching with, with the new with the new manager coming in? 
Um, is there something that excites you about next season? Um, I'm look, I can't lie. I'm, I'm looking forward to pre-season. I think under him, I think it's going to be nice where we can we go away as a team and he can really get to what he wants from the group. I think um, that's going to be big for us. I think if we have a good pre-season, it's going to set us up going into the season. Like, even tonight, it, it gives us momentum. It, we end on a, a good note. I think we're training for a little while now and um, yeah, it, it's definitely a lot better when you finish on a win because you can look at the good things and we did We did look good tonight and um, the second half especially, we, we played really well. We're looking like a really good team. So I think that's, that's definitely what I'm excited about attacking. We're, we're, looking, we're looking good for next season, I feel. You know, um, I, I understand uh, you as players have a you know a week off now before getting back. I guess, and and yeah. you know, then the off season. I guess, how do you plan on you know using that time for yourself, and how do you how how how, are, how do you plan to get yourself, I guess, mentally and physically ready for next season? Just now, um, I always try and use my off seasons as a way to kind of get better. Even these next few weeks, I'm going to try and get better. I'm going to work on myself. I'm, I came back really fit in the last preseason, and then up doing the AC joint in. in uh, the Dominican Republic, but I felt really good in preseason, and um, I always try and well, use this off season as a way to kind of um, as a kind of way to get better. And um, I've always tried to do that, and I felt that's why I can try and get ahead going into next season. I want to pr- improve on everything in my game, and, and yeah, I've got a long time to do it. So it's yeah, I'm looking at it positively rather than having a break. I'll have a I'll have a little break, but um, yeah, I, w- I want to be flying next season. So thank you, thanks, Thank you. Good.